Hi, this is a lecture taken from my online course about the Apache Spark certification, which is offered by Databricks. It handles one of the topics that you need to understand in order to get certified. So check it out. We already learned that data frames are immutable, which means we cannot change them after they are being created. Now, let's say we like to add records to a data frame. To do that, we must merge two data frames. And for that, we use the union transformation. We will specify the initial data frame, df1, and then union df2, for example. df1 is a data frame that will go to the customer data frame, select the first name, the last name, and the customer ID. And we also add a, an additional column in there to recognize records coming from df1. I also did the same thing from another, for, another, for another data frame called df2, but in this case, I revert the order in which I'm selecting the column. So in the df2 data frame, the first column will contain the last name instead of the first name, and the second one, the first name instead of the last name, but it will also contain the customer ID. And to identify all the records coming from the second data frame, in this case df2, we add another column in there called df2. This way we can then union, that means add all the records from the df2 data frame to the df1 data frame and still be able to recognize where each record came from. Let me execute this. Now we can do dot show for example. And let's pick now this time you can really see which record is coming from which data frame in the initial data frame the df1 data frame we selected everything in the natural order that means first name and then last name but in the second one we selected the columns in the reverse order last name and then the first name however what you are seeing here is that apache spark will do the union of both data frame based on the position of the columns and not on the name of the columns which means even if we put the customer id in the first place for example if we do something like this customer In this case, this will not work because the position and the data type must be the same. That way, let's see what we can put here. We can put salutation here, for example. Execute that. And then do the following. Now you can see Tiffany Skinner and Miss Tiffany. So Apache Spark will really do the union based on the position of the columns. Let me correct this again. This was the last name. The second possibility to do the merge of the two data frame by the name of the column in the schema. And for that, we must use the transformation union by name. And in this case, Apache Spark will really go ahead and union the both data frame based on the name of the columns. We do it like that. What is the hero? DF1, DF2. Need to execute this again. And this time we can see that everything is right. The first name is in the first name column, the last name also. And we can see that both records are coming from two different data frames. Also note that when we do an union, this will return duplicate rows. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let's go ahead and just remove this. And let me go back, just comment this out. And also this, execute that, execute that. Now let's execute this again. Now I've removed this column, which means all these rows here are going to be duplicates. In this case, there are going to be distinct rows, on distinct rows, sorry. Now, this row is exactly the same as the one 
we have down here. The only way to change that is to call it distinct after the union or the union by name. Therefore, you must call distinct here. And this will return distinct records. And there we go. Before going to the exam, make sure that you know how union works correctly. Make sure that you know what will happen if you try to union two data frames, one with five columns and the other one with only four. What will also happen if there is a type mismatch between the different columns? That's why you should go into the Apache Spark documentation and see how both or all the unions overload are defined. Here you will see we have the union word that we learned. We also have a union all. What's the difference between union and union? Here we saw how union by name works, but we didn't take a look into what will happen if you have different number of columns on both sides of the union operation. The union operation is just one operation that we can use to bring two data frames together. Previously, we learned how we can also use the join operation to bring two data frames together. If you enjoyed this video, I think you will also like the entire course. The course covers all the topics you need to pass the exam, such as understanding the basic of the Apache Spark architecture, how to manipulate columns in a data frame, how to filter columns or rows from a data frame. It also covers how to work with user defined function and Spark SQL functions. The course contains over four and a half hours of video, and you will also get a Databricks notebook that you can import directly into a Databricks workspace so easily follows all the instruction and all the code exercise. It also contains more than 40 quizzes that will help you prepare for the exam. So use the link in the description below to join the course and get certified. Thank you.